If you're not getting enough sleep, that's when you're going to start developing a lot of problems like high blood pressure or more stress or you're struggling to lose weight. Like a big shot. We're back. Bro. So question for you. So do you like always sitting like that? Why? So I did that last episode and my leg went fully numb. Fully numb. No, numb. like okay, fully so numb. I couldn't way, walk. Then. I almost I almost like tripped. Well, that's because you're getting old. Is that what are you trying to say? I'm just I saying am that you need old. to understand. Like it's very important. Healthy aging is extremely important. Is that today's topic? <laughs> it is today's that was topic. a good transition. You I like that, that. that was good. That, that was cool, cool, right? Yeah, and that was, we didn't practice that. that was no, just that was smooth. smooth. That was smooth. Right? Should I do like yeah. that too? Okay. Well, uh, we switched. So uh, okay. last I'll, episode I'll go goes back. like the other way. That's what okay, 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 okay. this way. So. Comfortable. By the way, guys, the reason we keep adjusting <laughs> these leather seats. Yeah, they're nice couches, but they're leather, so we're constantly sliding. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Vato! Arriba la raza, Simón Paisano! Hey, what's up, Ani? You from East LA, bro? East LA, bro? Our cousin is going to be so pissed at us right now talking all this We're just joking, Omar. Yeah, I know. Anyways, let's get to it. AJ, as you know, we're both geriatricians, so we see mainly old people. Yes. And I love seeing the older folks. They're the best patients ever. I had, a patient, I had a patient that has Parkinson's. He came in today with his daughter and he hasn't like smiled like the whole time. And he walked in, he was so excited. He was like trying to like box with oh. me. He was so cute. Oh, she was so like, cute. I haven't seen him smile in so long. It made my day, literally made my day. Bro, they like love these coming. little things that we do because medicine is difficult in general. It's, you're always dealing with like death, negative, it you is. know, angry people. And so to get like a compliment like that, it, it means a lot. It's it's hard, bro, because a lot of them are sick too, right? But at the same time, they really don't take care of themselves. You know, people want a magic pill, a magic wand, uh, you know, to fix their problems. When in reality, of is if you really just put in the time, it doesn't have to be ten hours a day. An hour a day, you know, yeah. is extremely important. So that's why I think healthy aging is a really important topic that we need to discuss. And I think there's a list of things that we need to make sure that you are doing this as part of your life every single day to make sure that you are that you age healthy and. You live long and happy and prosperous. Well, what would be what would be like the first thing you want to talk about? Like diet? I think diet is very important. I think like maintaining like a really well balanced diet is extremely important because that's something that we are guaranteed that we have to do every day, which is eat. Yeah. To survive, you gotta eat, right? Especially as you get older, you retire. That's why all my patients say, Doc, I retired. I'm at home. I'm eating all day. Yeah. But knowing what to eat is important. It's, it, I think they got the wrong concept. Like you don't have to not eat. You can eat. You should eat. But eating the right thing is very important. Yeah, fruits, so like, vegetables. If you were to like give an example to a patient on a healthy diet, like what would you start off like with breakfast? What would you start off with? I think if I think, you're if you're 80 years old and you're and you want advice from your doctor. Yeah. So I like that question, but I'm just gonna brush on something before we we, we proceed because um, it's a little bit difficult to just recommend. We have to understand that a lot of these patients are on um, a fixed income, yeah. right? And these days, I mean, okay, maybe. 30, 40 years ago, you'd walk into a supermarket with $20, you'd walk out with a cart. I know. These days, I mean, they're a fixed income. They make $900, $1,000 a month. You can't afford the best fruits, the organic fruits and, and, and stuff like that because it's so expensive. You're using up half your check for groceries. I know. So I do feel bad for them for that. But at the same time, going back to that, there are multiple ways, nutritional stuff that you can eat that are not that expensive, that will are filling and delicious. That's true. But it's learning, you know? People want, they want comfort. What's comfortable? A box of cereal, toss it, put in a, a little bowl and milk. That's probably the worst thing to ever eat. Oh, so, you know? so good. It sounds good because you're starving right now. Yeah, I'm so hungry, <laughs> I know, guys. I know. What, what's I, your cereal? It, okay, no diet, okay? What is your cereal of choice? And for everybody in the comments, I want to hear what your cereal of choice is. Shit, okay, a question. we're going off of trying to be healthy. Just for like two seconds. When you were a child, if you had one choice of cereal, would it be Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Is that A, Cinnamon Toast Crunch? A, uh -huh. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. B, Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. C, 
Um, Fruity Pebbles. Pebbles. Oh, Fruity Pebbles are yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I love that one. So I was uh, kind of obsessed with Captain Crunch. Three. Oh, Captain Crunch. Yeah, bro, I love Sorry, Captain guys, Crunch. Sorry, guys, I know we're supposed to talk I, about healthy stuff. Why did know, we go down I know, this path? I know, I know, so I know. We can't... haven't had it in a while. That's why we're craving it. If you're saying what's the last cereal you'll ever eat, yeah. I'll probably just uh, safe zone is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, so good. That's just yeah, you too can't safe. Go wrong. You can't go wrong with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Um, it's phenomenal, and uh, and we're not getting paid for this. The good by part, the, way. the good part <laughs> of that one is the milk at the end. Yeah. Oh it's the best. my God. Cinnamon. Yeah, oh, it's so yeah, good. It's phenomenal. Anyways, phenomenal. So don't eat that. Don't eat it. <laughs> but <laughs> for healthy now, aging, now they're again, gonna go home and eat all listen, buy it. it's 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 the it's the whole grains. It's the lean proteins. So how are we gonna go fruits, from that to a salad? Vegetables. Well, well you transition. Say, I'm not transitioning. You back. can well, listen, man. You can make a really healthy bowl with fruits. Like just a good bowl of fruits. I'd rather have a bowl of fruits than a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch if I'm on a diet and watch my weight and I want to live longer. You know. But it doesn't mean never ever eat it. See, that's the problem. People think, oh, I can never eat cereal. No. Every once in a while, maybe once a week, you want some cereal, eat some cereal, you know? Almond milk or something, yeah. yeah. Or change, like, I just think dairy products are horrible in general, right? Yeah. I mean, cheese, I love cheese, but I don't eat as much cheese. It's bad for your cholesterol, And too. milk is a disaster. People think milk is healthy. You know, they used to tell kids that, you know, drink milk. It's the worst thing in the world. I think all my all my GI issues were from how much milk I drank when I was I, younger. I 100% agree with because you. Because I, I was the shortest person in my class in fifth grade, and I started eating bowls of cereal because somebody told me, that if you eat cereal with that much milk, milk you're gonna grow. grow. And I grew, I grew you a did. whole foot. You did. So every single person in my age was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, but you were eating milk. bowls, bro. You I were was, eating containers yeah, in that motherfucker. Dude, bro. I was, it was like, huge. It was eating, huge. I remember no, half I'm a not gallon of milk. Like you use half a gallon of milk on Sometimes that one, a full one gallon. Yeah, yeah, one insane. time, one sitting. That's just insanity. Yeah. You know. And I was skinny. It was so skinny. But you played basketball. You played track. You ran track. So you were constantly active too. You know, your metabolism was. Fire. Super good. It yeah. was me that I used to worry about, bro. But I used to eat too. But I not feel as much so bad did. for you when we were when we were younger, guys. AJ would eat like a small little plate like this. I would eat a big plate, and yeah. then he would gain ten pounds. I hated and, it. And then my bro. mom would be like, "Why are you eating?" He's like, "I didn't eat. He ate yeah, all of it." Literally, bro. He'd eat so much, and, and he's the one that always loses the weight. But but see, yeah, again, so diet. I think that's a priority, you okay. know, uh, to live longer. Because Unless you're diabetic, you got to stay away from fruits. If you are diabetic, what fruits would you recommend to a diabetic? Okay, so I would, I, I always I would say, say from you. green apples are good. Yeah. Um, pears are really yes. good. Um, stay away from pineapple. Stay away from grapes. Oh, grapes watermelon is good. Okay. Yeah. No, but watermelon is pretty good. It doesn't have that much sugar. Reality. It's a lot of water, too. Yeah. But um, mangoes are a disaster. disaster. Strawberries are bad. Kiwis oh, blueberry, bad. Blueberries are good. Raspberries are good. Yeah. Uh, so basically, the good ones are blueberries, raspberries, apple, pears. Uh, pears. Stay away from mangoes, uh, pineapples, kiwis. strawberries, and kiwi. Yeah. Um, anything that really tastes really, really sweet. So, yeah, so that's a well balanced diet. But the second thing that I would recommend if you really want to age, you know, want to be healthy as you age is is activities, exercise. Oh, activities. I mean, it is it is crucial, crucial, absolutely crucial. Not necessarily just for maintaining your weight, but also for your mental state. Yeah. You know. Do you feel like, me personally, I feel like sometimes you have to exercise to diet. I know that sounds weird because like, when you go on the treadmill, or you go on the elliptical, and you're watching how many calories it's burning. After you're done, you're exhausted. You're not gonna go eat unhealthy, right? Exactly. That's so why they're hand in hand. I do believe that like starting exercise is why I always try to get my patients to start exercising because once you start exercising, you kind of change your diet, right? Like 100%. you. Hundred percent. I don't know. That's how you I feel believe. better. You know what? The, People just think when you say go exercise, they, they need to be bodybuilders. Yeah. You don't need to be a bodybuilder. You could walk. You could swim. You could do some yoga. You could do Pilates, jump rope. I mean, there's so many things. Ride a bike that you can do to be active. You don't have to lift. Even though I personally think that lifting is amazing and it is you feel it great is, but you are right though because like my patient's like well doc i can't lift yeah, i'm old exactly you don't Your need to live you, you can walk to. like even just walking is not good enough i yep. just feel like personally walking that's the number one thing my patients say is that well, i walk my dog that's not good enough that's not that's not they walk the dog twice a day for 10 minutes, yeah. that's not good enough. If your heart rate is not going up, it's not good enough. You have to understand, you need to enhance your flexibility. You need to strengthen your muscles and you need to improve cardio, your cardiovascular, uh, reduce cardiovascular disease. So that is always hand in hand. If you could take an hour a day, half an hour a day, and just divide, do a little bit of strengthening, a little bit of cardio, and walk. If you're gonna walk, walk faster. I mean, what is, if you're retired, what is half an hour, an hour going to do to your day? Absolutely nothing. I don't like, know why they're not in the gym two hours a day. I don't know. And then if you don't, and then sit and watch TV or crochet or do whatever you love to do afterwards. But at least I, I say, you know, what I tell my patients every single day, I'm like, do you brush your teeth? 
They're like, of course. I'm like, then why is that a habit? Why is that naturally in you that you have to get up and brush your teeth? Well, Newport Richie, they don't all brush their teeth. But <laughs> not, yeah, probably in not. General. Oh, you're going to get fucked with that. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. Sorry, <laughs> guys. I love my patients. If you're watching, <laughs> oh Debbie, do not go after me. <laughs> that was not me. I love, that was him. By the way, <laughs> Debbie is our biggest fan, and I love her. Shout out to Debbie. I never shout her, but she's amazing. I love you. Who's she Debbie? Does brush. She's uh, one of my, one of my uh, oh, I can't really say it, HIPAA, but. I didn't say her last name, so I don't know. Who, She's like, like the biggest doc talker. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well, she loves us. And by the way, we got to get her hat and a hoodie. I, I already told her. So. All right. Cool. 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 Okay. Debbie, don't worry. I didn't forget about you. I love you. All right. So, so th that's what I'm saying, bro. It's like you always have time, no matter what. I don't care what anybody says. You will have time to exercise somehow. And you know, what? we don't have to call that exercise. Just increased activity. Yeah. You know, increase. The word exercise do, does scare people. And I, I do feel like these gyms nowadays, people are like very judgmental. Yeah. And the way things are and the way they hold the cameras. And, and, and if you are somebody that works at the gym, don't make people uncomfortable, man. Yeah. yeah. You stay, you put your camera on. You don't want me walk in front of it. You're the, the girl's recording. You think I'm looking at you. I'm not looking at you. You make it awkward. Just well, a lot of them also, man. This just, it's kind gym of etiquette. Like you really, we really got to work on that for sure. But these patients also, if they've never worked out in their life, this is going to be very hard for them. That's so, why it's better to start young. Yeah. yeah, and we'll put them, just give them something to do. I start giving them chores. I'm like, all right, listen, you're going to walk, you know, two miles a day. And I'm, you're going to write it down every day that you walk two miles, you know, and it gives them something to do. So. Motivation. It's all yeah. motivation. Anyway, yeah. So, and then now, number three. What do you think number three is? Uh, sleep? No. I... You know what the look? I, I don't think you know what to be honest with you. Everything I don't think necessarily it's in order, but I feel like like medical screenings are very oh, okay. Important. Okay, my bad. I, I, know, I just feel like sleep is like part of. Yeah, and, we'll get there. We'll and get it's there. probably in there for sure. Yeah, for sure. And I think it could be just part of being healthy, also, right? Um, but screenings are very important if you want to live. What longer. do you mean by screenings? Like colonoscopies, mammograms, um, stool cars to check for colon cancer. What do you say to those people that are, are watching? They feel like it's a scam. Do people think it's a scam? I get so many patients that feel like I'm just forcing them to do a stool card or forcing them to do a mammogram because I make money off of it. Okay. Until so they get breast cancer and then all of a sudden it's my fault for not ordering the mammogram. Well, uh, so, okay. So that's, uh, I just feel like people look for any kind of reason to argue something. Yeah, to be honest that's true, with you. true. But the fact of the matter is, is that it's common sense that you want to catch something become, before it becomes worse. Yes yeah. or no? Yeah, it makes sense. So that's what screening is for. It makes sense. Whether we're making money or a scam or not, I want to find it early. That's true. Right? That's true. So I think that's very important. And, and especially with um, the way the society is now with the 5G cancer, like it's crazy oh, how much nuts. cancer is growing. People, it's, I'm I see seeing everywhere. so much more breast cancer, so much more colon cancer at a younger age, yep. much younger age. Guys, don't wait. The whole point of the screening, right? And I'll give you a difference, right? You say next year, next year, next year. If I catch your colon cancer now and I can remove it, you're good, right? Yeah, exactly. If you wait until it metastasizes and it goes all over your body, it's too late. Don't wait. Don't get the screening the early. I had a friend, 38 mm -hmm. years old. I told you, remember? She's like, something's weird. I pushed and we got a mammogram. She ended up with breast cancer at 38. There's women at 30 that have breast cancer. That's so sad. Don't wait for the screening. Colonoscopies at 50. Yep. Breast cancer again. It depends on the family history. Make sure you know your family history. That's very important to know your family history for the that screening. Is fact, fact, especially for screening. Because obviously, if you have a family history and your dad had colon cancer at 30, you yeah, shouldn't wait until you're 50, you right? You should not. You should do it exactly. typically you do 10 it. years before yeah, exactly. they were diagnosed. Exactly. So That's what it is. So that's the scary part. But that's what it is. And then stay social. Like, have friends. Yeah. Go oh, out. You know, you're retired. Make friends in the neighborhood. You know, play Mahjong or play some bingo. Get out and go do stuff, you know? It's, Socializing is very important. A lot of people, like, um, they lose their husband. They lose their wife. They get so depressed. And I, I feel like that's the biggest factor that they have. I used to actually hook up patients. Like, if somebody lost his wife, I would yeah. find him a girl. and find Oh, yeah. Why but not? I started getting in trouble for that. But, yeah. Well, it, you got to be careful okay, not to share HIPAA, information. But, yeah. but, but you can just... you can. Ask. And usually, well, I, I will usually just tell them come to my event. Yeah, and um, then that's a great idea. They can come then, to a dog talk event. That we fun. Yeah, we'll set up a dog talk. That is speed a dating great idea. We could do a speed dating event. Speed for dog dating talk. event for dog Dude, talk. I think that would be we'll fantastic. Grab all, our, all of our There's patients. There's a lot of our patients that are widows or they lost their husbands and they. Would you they guys need... be interested in that? Obviously, our young followers are not going to be into yeah, that for but sure. We're talking <laughs> sure. about our older patients <laughs> for sure. Um, that's, uh, that's actually yeah, a that's very, good idea. very good idea. Yeah. So yeah, man, it's this, uh, that's a good idea to do like, uh, maybe speed like dating? speed dating. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll talk about it. Moving forward. You said this earlier, sleep, sleep, huge. I, I, I know it's, it's such nine a hours. 
seven to nine hours. Even say, even though they say the average is four hours after a certain age, after you get older, um, but it is very crucial because that's where you get most of your rest, and that's where um, the, you know your your mind kind of calms down from the stress of the day. And and if you're not getting enough sleep, that's when you're going to start developing a lot of problems like high blood pressure or more stress or you're struggling to lose weight. Um, a lot of people have obstructive sleep apnea, right? So you got to check for that. But uh, sleep is very crucial for healthy aging. And uh, you um, said it, healthy aging. It's it's if you want to stay young, sleep is crucial. You have to sleep. I, I have a big problem with that. I'm working on it, but I do believe phones, tablets, TVs are playing a big, big role in it. And by the way, I got chewed up by the comments last time by me saying, "Don't look at your phone and put it next oh, to you when you oh, sleep." Yeah. Oh, and they were ripping me apart. But realistically, look at all the case studies, guys. And what they say for a healthy sleep is whatever you want to do, do it before you go to bed. Yeah. Bed is supposed to be programmed. Your brain is supposed to be programmed that when you go to bed, it's sleep. If yeah. you want to be on your phone, don't go to your bed. 100%. Sit on the couch or do whatever else you want to do. Don't go to bed until your body is fatigued, it's ready to sleep, and, and you are no longer looking at the phone yes. or TVs. I agree. I agree. And you know what? I always tell a lot of my patients, if, you're, if it's bedtime and you feel like you're still energetic, go for a walk. Yeah. Go do some exercise. Don't go bit, lay you know? down and sit don't on lay your phone. Down. Yeah, exactly. 100%. But all those people that talk shit, bro, the majority of them have literally no education. Yeah. They just sit there and want to fucking pretend like they know all of this shit uh, you want to talk then fucking talk come yeah. on a podcast come, come on a podcast talk shit. and challenge let's us go. challenge love let's do that. it let's do and it. i guarantee you every single person that commented has trouble sleeping a hundred percent you any money that yep. every person that commented has trouble sleeping and Fact. guys we only do this to benefit you guys to help you guys out like yep. you know if you don't want to follow it you don't have to follow it yeah. but if you want to stay young you want to stay healthy these are regular things that you have to do they're part of life and i always talk about like when people say consistency it has to be part of your life like you said Fact. just like brushing your teeth we're Working out has become part of my life. Yes. If I don't go, I feel like I didn't go to work or yeah, I like, didn't do. Have you ever like not brush your teeth? It's some, something happened. You forgot to you brush your like teeth. Crap. You feel like shit. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. Exercise should be just part 100%, of that. Unless you live in the yeah. porch. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> so then another one is, um, is managing your stress. You know, yeah. how to manage stress, whether it's deep breathing, whether it's yoga, whether it's like pick a hobby for the love of God. If you're retired. Pick a hobby. Do yeah. something you love to I do. I always say don't retire until you're ready, until you have hobbies, right? We'll so say many that people to will go back to work after retirement. Tons of people go back to work after retirement. And it's it's for me, honestly, I don't know what I would do if I'd retire. That'd be tough. I'd be yet. terrified. My dad retires and he's loving it. Yeah, he's loving he's it. He's loving it. But loving he, it. He's gardening all day. He's gardening nine hours out of the day, dude. Yeah, nine he's, hours. He's in the sun all day. Literally, bro. He's so freaking dark he's and tan. So dark. <laughs> He's yeah, so he's like in the perfect tan right now. He is because he's low in the floor. Also, weather. if you're out in the sun, make sure you wear sunscreen. 100%. 100%. <laughs> um, mentally active is something that I push onto my patients. Um, what do you mean by that? Can you break it down? Crossword puzzles, brain games, card games. Or like games, memory games, yeah. Memory games to stay fresh. Short term, well, memory loss in general is everybody will develop it at a certain degree. Not so much or not yeah. so little. It doesn't mean you're demented. It doesn't mean you have Alzheimer's if you have memory loss. Memory loss is very common as we get older. Your brain is a muscle. You don't exercise it, you're gonna lose it. Simple 100%. as that. So, and that's why I recommend that for your mental state, stay active, uh, do cross. Sudoku is a good one, you know, Sudoku and a lot of these games. Can, and, and then you can do a lot of them on the phone too. Yeah, it keeps um, you sharp. It does keep you sharp. What about like, like CNS depressants or like alcohol. A lot of people tend to drink when they retire and sit at home. They have a drink oh every God. day. It's wine horrible. all day. Wine. That's horrible, all they horrible. do. And they always lie to me. You've got to reduce That's that why I always, alcohol, man. I like when the wife comes in because they always bust them out. Yeah, they do. <laughs> like, like, he's been drinking. Bob, do you drink? <laughs> no. no. The wife comes in next visit. Oh, he shit. drinks 10 beers a day. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, I, don't, I definitely don't. Write, I mean, alcohol is going to age you faster than anything. Oh, right? for sure. For it's, sure. And smoking. Alcohol. And, and the people who do both. You oh, can shit. tell right away. You look what is the face. benefit of drinking? Nothing. Like, there's no benefit to Why it. Why the hell would you? Okay. I, some people do it as for pain. Some people do it for depression. Some people find an excuse or some people just addicted. Um, I think it's a horrible addiction. I think it's the worst thing ever created, that and cigarettes. So both combined is a disaster. Avoid it, especially if you're retired. Pick up something more, another hobby, yeah. something else to be addicted to, like exercise, you know? Also, um, when, when they, people say wine is healthy, there's an ingredient in wine 
that people talk about that's healthy, but you can buy that ingredient by itself without yeah, having the alcohol. alcohol factor. 100%. So you don't really need to have the wine to get that healthy factor. 100%. 100%. You know? And, um, oh, you know, another thing also is we're talking about my dad outside. It's very, very important, especially in our elderly. We got a lot of skin cancer. Yeah. Right? So... You know, try make sure they use a lot of sunscreen. That's or at very least protect important. it. Wear some long you, sleeves. You gotta protect yeah. it exactly. Protect your skin, especially you know a lot of our re people who retired work in the yard, work in the patio, and there's in the sun all day. Like my dad, we should definitely talk to my dad. And make sure he's wearing enough, uh, you know, sunscreen and and you know, covering himself up. Yeah, you sure. know, one thing, AJ, I think that helps also. Like if you are retired, first thing when you do in the morning, wake up, go barefoot, go outside, feel the grass on your feet, get Beautiful. some sun exposure. Yep, vitamin you know, D smell the flowers get feel the wind like get that natural people are losing that they want to stay yeah. inside and watch movies all day yeah. they're losing that it's uh, habit. connection to nature it's having um, it's very important i think i agree and and some in a lot listen i'm sure you see this in your office a lot depression is huge anxiety huge. is huge right and but patients they sit and they watch tv all day because they're depressed but they don't want to get up and go do something and realize maybe this will treat their depression this, they're gonna make them feel better you know so. i think it's a it's like a domino effect right yeah you yeah. don't exercise you don't eat right you don't eat right you don't sleep you don't sleep you're depressed you're depressed you it's you gain weight it's it's kind of like a domino effect it so is, you got to make sure is. you get that first step in 100 percent, man so yeah man the, those are the recommendations for healthy aging i mean if you guys have questions i say talk to your doctor they'll give you a whole list of things to do they'll break it down um, for you guys and remember, yeah. are you guys doing any of these healthy habits? And if you're not, make sure you jump on it before it's too late. And trust me, we see these older patients and we could tell who's been healthy and who hasn't. Okay? Exactly. We love and you guys. Talk to your doctor so they can give you a list or some homework to do as well. And um, if you don't take care of your body, your body won't take care of you. Thank you, guys. Peace out.